I've been asked this question by many women and men who have dealt with infidelity. How do you deal with a cheating partner? And although it can be very painful dealing with this type of situation and being in a relationship and even wanting to work on a relationship, knowing that your significant other has cheated on you, it can be very challenging. So today I'm going to share some tips on what you can begin to do when it comes to dealing with a cheating partner. First and foremost, you want to first decide whether or not you are willing to trust this person again. Can you see yourself trusting them after they have cheated on you? Has this happened before? Is this something that has happened before and it's a continual process? These are questions you want to begin to evaluate. You want to analyze your relationship. You want to really understand if you are willing to work on this relationship, are you willing to go through the necessary healing, just processing everything with this person and getting to a place where you can trust again? There is a difference between forgiving someone and trusting someone. You can forgive them. You can let go of the resentment and the anger, but that doesn't mean you're ready to trust again. Trust is very important in a relationship. So when it comes to dealing with a cheating partner and moving forward, you need to ask yourself, are you willing? Are you willing to do what's necessary to work through what has happened and to trust again? Next, when it comes to dealing with a cheating partner, you want to really get to a place where you accept your own feelings. Accept it and sit with it. You're going to go through some grief. You're going to go through some confusion, some anger, some heartbreak. And it's important that you allow yourself to go through this. This is part of your process of healing. Don't stop yourself from feeling what is real because when you avoid that when you when you ignore what is real and how you feel and you don't accept your truth don't accept how you really feel you can become numb and what you do is you suppress that pain and that can turn into something you do not want in your life. It can cause you to get to a place where you are dis-ease. And a lot of times people say when you're dis-ease, you can create disease in your body. So you don't want to suppress this negative energy and these toxic emotions. You want to accept it. You want to feel it. You want to go through it and you want to heal it. Listen, I want you to know that it is natural and normal to grieve a past relationship or even if you're still in the relationship and you're going through grief because of what was once this trusting, loving relationship has now turned into something you could not imagine. Now that you know that you have dealt with infidelity, that your partner has cheated, it's so important that you allow yourself to grieve. And this leads me to the next tip. You want to make sure you take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is a big part of you healing. It's a big part of you having a healthy relationship. And it's a big part of you learning how to trust again. Listen, this is your new norm. You, you're in a new position now. So instead of focusing on, on what has happened in the past, begin to create a new way of taking care of yourself, of loving yourself, of nurturing yourself, and really understanding how important it is to care for your mind, body, and spirit. So you want to make sure during this time, this is your time to really nurture, heal, and love yourself. And be okay with that. Be okay with just taking care of you in this season. You may feel tempted to try to fix things and try to focus on your partner or focus on 
other people, focus on other things, but and ignore yourself. But you don't want to do that. Instead of focusing so much of your time and energy and effort on fixing what has happened, turn that focus on taking care of you. As you focus more on taking care of you, doing what's best for your mind, body, and spirit, you're going to begin to see yourself heal. You're going to begin to see yourself more clear in your mind, and you're going to know what decisions to make next. Now, this one is very important. You want to avoid the blame game. I know that you may feel like a victim right now because something has, you know, your partner has cheated and you feel as if, you know, you're hurt and it can feel like you're a victim right now. But it's so important that you avoid the blame game. When I say the blame game, avoid constantly talking about what has happened and how they have hurt you. The more you talk about it, the more you replay what has happened, the more you send yourself in this cycle of even more pain, frustration, and anger. Don't blame anyone. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame your partner or the other person. And you may be thinking, well, why? They were wrong. They, they, should, they should pay for what they did. Trust me, as you release and let go of blaming, you're going to set up yourself and position yourself for better in your life. It may not make sense right now. It may not, You may not be able to comprehend it, but the more you focus on what you don't want, which is the cheating, the hurt, the pain, the more you focus on that, the more you magnify it in your life. So if you blame that person or blame the situation or blame yourself or blame anyone, you're going to continue to magnify that situation in your life. That's not what you want to magnify. You want to magnify things that you desire. You want to magnify love. You want to magnify peace in your life, love for yourself, love for your family, your children. Focus on the things you love. Focus on the things you appreciate and you'll begin to learn the lesson in what has happened. See, that's the key to this. The key is not to constantly put your energy towards the hurt and the pain and the blame. The key is to find the lesson in it. See, there's a lesson in this situation. What you're dealing with, dealing with a partner who have cheated on you, there's a valuable lesson you can learn if you begin to turn your attention on learning that lesson instead of blaming and being upset about what has happened. See, when you learn the lesson, you grow. When you learn the lesson, you get better. And when you learn the lesson, you attract better in your life. And finally, you want to get to a place in your life where you embrace your newness. Embrace the new beginning in your life. Understand that this is a season where you must take it one day at a time. You can't figure everything out. You can't have all the answers right now. You don't need to have all the answers. You don't need to have it all figured out. You don't need to be over with it right now. Take it one day at a time. When you begin to think about next week or the month or what is this, how is this going to be or years from now or the plans you had and how is that going to be, that's going to be devastating. You never imagined this. Just take it one moment as, at a time. When you begin to do this, you slow yourself down from having this anxiety and pressure and fear and you just begin to embrace and understand that this is a new process. It's a new season for you. And and even though it's different and it feels different and it may feel scary at times, it can be a blessing. It really can be a blessing. If you learn to embrace it, if you learn to breathe, take your time, spend some time in prayer, spend some time in meditation, spend some time journaling, writing, really getting clear on where you are right now, embracing where you are right now, and get excited because guess what? This is only going to make you stronger. Yes, you're hurt. Yes, you're in pain. Yes, Yes, what happened to you was wrong, but there is so much hope for you. There's so much ahead of you. There's so much life for you to live. 
So don't allow yourself to be wrapped up in that hurt and pain because one day you're going to look at that situation. You're going to be able to talk about that situation. You may be able to laugh about that situation because guess what? You're going to be in a bigger, better place. You're going to be a much stronger, healthier person. Slow down, take it one day at a time, embrace this new norm that you have. I'm excited for you and I know that you are overcoming this situation. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever dealt with a cheating partner? Are you dealing with that now? What happened? How are you going to move forward? Share your comment below. I just want you to share your truth. This is the first process of you moving forward and healing. And if you enjoyed this video, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like the video. And if you are interested in watching more videos on evolving and lessons of love, wellness, and wealth consciousness, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're really interested in going deeper and learning how to manifest real love, I want to invite you to join me in my free webinar, Manifest Your Soulmate. Click the link in the video description to join us now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.